Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do an Elden Ring uh, tier list. Um, it's going to be all the remembrances. It's a total of 15 bosses. Uh, when I After this video, I also want to do every From Software game, you know, since Demon's Souls to Sekiro. So if you want to, you know, join and see that, you could always subscribe and shit like that. I would appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, let's get this started. Okay, so here's the tier list, in case you have never seen a tier list, S, you know, means that this is a super good boss, and D means it's a really bad boss. And because, you know, there's a lot of bosses for us to talk about, I'm gonna try to do, do this kind of fast. So, we have here Godric, to me, probably the easiest boss to rank in the list. It's an easy nay, really cool boss, amazing music, amazing arena. The cutscene with the arm is absolutely fucking phenomenal, and him saying, bear witness, it always makes me remember of Mad Max Fury Road. Such a fucking nice boss. Um, a great start for this tier list. I really love Godric. Uh, it's a bit too easy. If I want to complain about something, it's probably a bit too easy. And now we have Redan, which was my favorite boss at the end of my first playthrough. Now it's not anymore. You're going to find out later which one it is. Uh, but Redan is probably, you know, the most iconic boss in, in this game. You know, the Rodam Festival, all the cutscenes, talking with all the NPCs, everyone, you know, that amazing arena and everyone running in the direction to, to kill Rodam is so fucking epic. It just screams epic, uh, the entire fight. Um, the meteor is just, it's just a masterpiece of a fight. But, you know, it's not flawless. You know, I wish the music in second phase becomes really bad. I don't know why it's so good in first phase, but second phase is so bad. And there's a few ways to, you know, make him commit, kill itself. There's a, a certain attack that it does that you can punish to infinity and make him a complete pushover. But overall, one of the best bosses in the game easily. Uh, Morgoth, uh, to my surprise, I will also put him on as, uh, on my first playthrough, he didn't impress me that much, but the more I fight him, the more I like him. Everything is flawless in this fight, like serious, this is probably the most flawless boss in the entire game. Like, everything is good, the music, the, you know, the, the arena, all his attacks, uh, it's so much fun to fight this boss. Anyone that says that this is the best boss in Elden Ring, I have no problem with it. It's it's a flawless boss. It is fucking fucking cool. Um, now we have Rykard, easily the best gimmick boss from software has ever done. Uh, another boss where practically everything is cool. I would say the music doesn't impress me that much. It's it's okay. It just doesn't nothing special. And that attack on second phase where it brings the skulls and it's trying to hit you at the same time, that gets a bit annoying. But other than that, it's a super fun fight. The dialogue, you know, in the cutscenes is, is memorable. Um, the weapon that you get is actually my favorite weapon in the game, the Serpent Hunter. And um, yeah, best gimmick boss from software ever done, easy. So Renala, if I remember the name, her name right, Renala is our first B. And she might be the better of the bees from what I'm looking here. Um, Ranella has the best arena in the entire game, you know, when she gets to second phase. Um, first phase, it's all right the first times you do it, but then it just gets a bit boring. The fight itself, apparently, is super hard if you're a mage and super easy if you do melee. I do melee, so yes, she was super easy to me. But it, it was a, still a fun fight. Um, but it's not a fight I care much about, you know, doing again. Um, I liked my first experience, but I don't care about it anymore. Um, and next we have Fire Giant, and yeah, Fire Giant. I used to, I used to do speedruns on uh, Elden Ring, and this guy <laughs> just pissed me off to infinity. This guy destroys so many of my speedruns; it's not even funny. But I'm still gonna give him a B. He's very annoying. He does way too much damage. He has way too much health. But it's and he like he keeps rolling around the arena like a fucking idiot. It's a, it's actually kind of funny. And like I said, this is probably the boss that pisses me off the most in the entire game. But at the same time, it's the music is pretty all right. It's memorable. I, I remember his music very well. Uh, the way he looks is also very cool. And there's, I don't know, it's a boss that feels really good to kill. It just feels really good to kill this dude. 
Um, Estelle, ouch, okay. This is hard to rank, I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of people like this boss, and I really don't give a fuck about this boss, man. It's not that it's bad. Visually, it's incredible. It's one of the best design bosses in the game, but I j it's just another boss that I could not care at all to go fight again. Uh, you find him two times as well, which I think is something they should never have done. You know, apparently, is at the end of the Rani quest, and then you fight him again on, in the mountains. I, I think that was a very poor idea. It, this boss should have been unique, should have been special. But, like I said, it's it's to me, it's not a boss I care about fighting. Um, it just feels a bit like Dark Beast Parl from from Bloodborne, where you have to go around the legs and. I don't know, it's just, it's just not for me. Sorry to all the Estelle fans, this is a boss that is not for me. Same goes for 40 Sex, I think that's his name. This is just another boss I went to fight because, you know, I had to do a, some quests, but I don't know, it's, it's just, it looks cool and the music is cool, but the fight itself, I, I also was not very impressed. And everything is just very dark. He, him and the arenas, everything is just so unbelievably dark. You, sometimes you don't even know where you are, what what you're doing, what's happening. Um, I just find it a bit confusing, the fight itself. The, the guy is always on lightnings and then the, there's also lightning on you, you're getting hit. It, it's a crazy fight. Uh, I think they missed a bit uh, on this boss. There's another dragon boss in here and it's so much better than this one. So... Let's move on. Mog. Mog. Uh, yeah. Mog is a boss that I haven't fought that many times. I know people are crazy. Many people think this boss... Are crazy about this boss. That many people think this is the best boss in, in the game. To me, um, he's a very good boss. First phase especially. Second phase kind of annoys me a bit. All the, you know, trying the fire everywhere around the arena. You get stuck everywhere in the arena. You get stun locked by the fire. And then you have knee heal, which is annoying as fuck. And yes, I know there's some something you need to catch that can stop that. But I didn't found it on my first playthrough. So that, that attack was annoying to infinity. But, you know, I, I can't deny that the music in first phase is very good. Uh... Arena is one of the best in the game, and the boss looks it's, looks amazing, and the fight itself is also very cool, very challenging, another boss that feels amazing to kill. And now we go to Melania, which, um, yeah, this is, how can I say this, uh, just take Waterfall out, like, ser simple. Water without Waterfall, in here, with Waterfall, I even fight it to put it uh, in A, uh, honestly. I would say 99.9% .9 of the players will not be able to dodge Waterfall if she does it, you know, right next to you. And it really sucks because I don't think Melania is even that hard. But because of that attack, it transforms, transforms her in the hardest boss from software has ever done, in my opinion. Uh, because I, I, I always die to the waterfall dance, like 90% of my deaths, it's always to that attack. And um, I don't think the attack belongs in the game, and yes, everyone that is seeing this will say there's a billion ways to deal with waterfall. There are, but I would, I would wish that I could just... that it didn't exist, or that it would be like a second phase thing. I had fights where I, where I fought her on first phase and she did it four times on first phase alone it's 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 insane and it kind of forces you to play very defensively if you can't dodge waterfall and I don't like to play defensively the, the fight gets boring as hell on first phase uh, but I'm still gonna give it an A because the quality is there she looks awesome arena is is pretty good Music on second phase is one of the best in the game. I would say second phase is flawless, it's perfection. I just think the big problem is in first phase and they use the fact that they use waterfall on the first phase. That that should not exist at all. You know, in her cutscene, which is one of the best ever in gaming, she says true you're gonna witness true horror and you know the true horror should have been the waterfall, but they just make it a normal attack and I think that's bullshit. So Regal Ancestor Spirit, I think that's his name. I would say this is the worst boss 
in this tier list easily. Uh, it was actually my most anticipated boss when I saw the trailers and I was so unbelievably disappointed with this boss. I, I'm not even going to waste much time talking about it. It has really, really cool music and that's pretty much it. Arena, fight itself, the difficulty, everything fucking sucks in this fight. I'm sorry. Malekith. Oof. Malekith. Malekith might stay here, but this boss... With just a few little changes, would it go S tier easily? I think this boss has very little health, and if you know what to do in second phase, you can kill this boss in 15 seconds. Like he doesn't, you don't even need to dodge any attack. It's it's that easy. If you know what to do, this boss becomes a joke, sadly. And um, I think it's ridiculous that gods can do have so much fucking health, and this one dies in such an easy way and in such a short amount of time but it's one of the best bosses in the game like the move set for him is probably the coolest looking and it feels amazing to dodge all of his attacks learning this boss is absolutely spectacular he looks amazing the arena is incredible music is pretty good as well like everything is there man just give him more health and make beast clergyman phase you know, be shorter, like 40%, and then boom, he changes to Malekith. And give him, I don't know, 5,000 more HP, and you get one of the best fights in the game. But the way it is, it's going to be the best of the A's. So now we have uh, Placidus X, which a lot of people say it's the best dragon boss from software has ever done. I still think it's Mither. It's not even close to me. I like Placidus X, uh, probably the the best audiovisual experience in the game. Music is absolutely phenomenal. The arena is incredible. Um, but I don't know. It's another boss where like you're fighting the tail <laughs> most of the time, and he's he's flying away a lot. He's disappearing a lot. There's a lot of you know time where you're not doing almost nothing, just waiting and waiting. And then there's the laser attack, which is kind of bullshit as well. I don't even know if it's possible to dodge that. So it may kind of forces me to run away from him and wait and wait and wait. There's a lot of waiting in this fight. Um, but everything else, like I said, the most amazing audiovisual spectacle in the, the entire game. Um, and it's pretty challenging as well. Uh, really good boss. It's an A. It's definitely an A. And now we have my favorite boss in the game, easily, Godfrey, not easily, he's just a little bit better than, Red uh, than um, fuck, oh my god, I just forgot his name, <laughs> doesn't matter, um, Radan, okay, <laughs> so yeah, my favorite boss now is Godfrey Horalux, I used to not be a fan of Horalux part, but now that I learned how to fight him, it just feels amazing to beat this boss, um, I would say he has the second best music in the entire game. Only loses to Godskin Duo. Um, both phases are incredible. First phase has, to me, the coolest... Probably the coolest thing in the game, which is every time he stomps, um, there's like this shockwave that occupies the entire arena, so it forces you to dodge. It doesn't matter where you are. I think that's an absolutely amazing idea. Um, I think I really like the way he looks, and the arena. Even though it's you know it's just Morgoth's arena, but it's one of the best arenas. Uh, to me, it's just it's just incredible. It's just a boss that non stops following you. He's just always on top of you. You're always constantly dodging, and he gives you chances to hit him. It's not there's no bullshit in this fight. Everything is just so much fucking fun and epic and yeah, amazing. Best boss in the game without a doubt for me and now we have <laughs> oh my we have our final boss Mr. Elden Beast <laughs> and yeah is he better than Fire Giant? nah probably not I think I'm gonna put him here a lot of people that saw me fight this guy probably think I hate him but he's not that bad it's just it's kind of Disappointing that this is the final boss. I wish you know it would be just Radagon and that that would be it. But 
sadly we have to fight this swarm looking dude and yeah there, there's a lot of good things in this fight the music it's incredible the arena is fucking beautiful um you know what the moveset is not that bad but you know i think the boss looks fucking ridiculous i don't know what i'm looking at uh like he keeps swimming away a billion kilometers from you you cannot use the the horse in this fight and um he has some some attacks that are kind of bullshit especially you know the the one where he like i forgot the name but there's like flying s yellow stars around the entire map chasing you that's just elden stars it's called elden stars that attack is just fucking garbage um and like i said it, it's the final boss man it's the most important boss in the game and i, I think they kind of fucked up a bit man it really should have been Radagon. Radagon a little bit harder with some more move sets and a better arena because Radagon arena is probably the worst in the entire game. I don't know what the fuck they were singing. But yeah, sadly, this final boss, it's, it's one of the, the worst, I would say, from software has ever done. So it gets a B. And yeah, that will be for it this time, guys. Uh, I'm going to do more or less, you know, Demon Souls to Sekiro. And then... Um, I hope to see you there. But that's, yeah, this is my list for Elden Ring. So um, see you next time. Adios. Bye-bye.